Hacks, where we try to simplify cybersecurity. Today we are looking at the realistic missions on Hack This Site. If you don't know what Hack This Site is, it's a website that allows you to test out your hacking skills and I highly recommend giving it a go. So today we are looking at realistic number three, Peace Poetry Hacked. A little girl made a website to post poetry related to peace and understanding. American fascists have hacked this website, replacing it with Hitler-esque propaganda. Can you repair the website? Imagine that. Imagine hacking a girl's website which is dedicated to peace and prosperity. Yes, absolutely. Let's give it a go. So, we've got a message here from Peace Poetry and it reads, I run a website where people can read and submit peace-related poetry. I'm doing this out of the goodwill towards others and I don't see why I would be making enemies out of this. But some real asshole hacked my website posting a bunch of ignorant aggressive propaganda on the front page. And I made that website a while ago and I no longer have access to it. Do you think you can hack it and change it back please and oh bonus if you message me the name of the bastard who did this. My website can be found here. That's my best little girl impression, that's all you're getting. So if we click here and go to the website, we can see that this page has been hacked. God bless the United States, the best country on the planet, everyone else just better back down. If you aren't with us, you are the terrorists. People who oppose the war with Iraq are traitors and America should be hanged like the terrorists they are. Okay, okay, so standard propaganda page. The page was hacked by insane Kipped sk crypt skiddies. Shout outs to Death Laser, Laser Face, Master of Disaster, and Doctor Doom. So there isn't much on this page. It's just a basic HTML page, I assume, with the images. So yeah, there isn't much to actually look at. But if we delve deeper into the depths of the website and scroll right to the very bottom, what you can see is this HTML note. As you can see with the less than exclamation mark mark. Um, note to the webmaster, this website has been hacked but not totally destroyed. The old website is still up. I simply copied the old index file to oldindex.html and uh, yeah, remade this one. Sorry for the inconvenience. Yeah, so if we head over to old html, sorry, old index html as it says in the note what we should find is that the website is still there and it's a peace poetry website as the girl said war is not healthy for children and others living things and other living things i really can't read today so we have a bit of functionality here the first part is we can read existing poetry and if we look at the file pass we can see that repoem.php is calling the name of the poem I'm reading it so name equals hacker so the name of the poem is hacker and then you've got impending war the idiot I'm not gonna bother reading these but as you can see there is some dynamic functionality there which is using the name um, property parameter to read the files and here we have submit poetry where we can type the name of the poem, so let's just do test, test, and add poem. Now, there is a bit about this challenge that I'm not really understanding, but I'll uh, tell you about that in a moment. So if we come back to the main website, and we uh, view the page source, what we can do is, is we can just copy all of the website, head to submit poetry, and if we do dot dot up a directory index.html oops and paste it and submit it what this will do is write the poem which in this case is the source code of the main page the page source to index.html however what i'm having trouble with understanding is why we need to go up a directory as far as i can see everything is in realistic 3 the hacked page is in realistic 3 the poems appear to be in realistic 3 so i'm not too sure why we have to go up a directory either way it doesn't work without the directory traversal but once you post it 
you see that you've completed the challenge. So again, I'm not too sure why it requires moving up a directory to post it. I had had a, I have had a look at the source code, but I'm still not seeing why it needs to go up. But it was a fun challenge. Um, teaches you a little bit about directory traversal, and again, that golden rule on web applications: input validation. Do not trust user data no matter what anything that's submitted by users should be untrusted and sanitized before it's processed by the back end but that's it for today that's all i've got for you i hope you liked the video if you did give it a thumbs up possibly subscribe and i'll see you next time hack the planet <laughs>